How's it going, y'all? This is Crag Tower, and you are watching episode four of Crag's First Apocalypse. Welcome back. I didn't do a whole lot last night. I was able to craft me this beautiful baseball bat, a uh, wooden baseball bat, as you can tell from the outside, but apparently has a metal core, considering it takes 10 forged iron to create. Uh, I was also able to make our mini bike last night, so we already, after one day, made our bicycle obsolete. I placed down our workbench, got a few things sorted out. Not a whole lot done last night, like I said, but hey, we have a mini bike. We are gas powered, so we are good to go. Uh, I did notice that in the first three episodes, I actually missed three crates. Uh, while I was uh, going through the different POIs. So first thing this morning we are going to go do is we're going to go find those and we're also going to collect some of the resources along the way. I hear someone. There she is. Come here, you. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, that was a beautiful sound. You hear that? That was that metal core. <laughs> and down she goes. Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright, so first stop we are heading to is just right around the corner. The first POI that we went to on that very first day. Let's go check it out. I want to say it was just a, like a food crate, but we'll see. Since we're here, we'll go ahead and take this apart. See if we can't get a couple more engines. Yep, there we go. Shamway Foods. Skipped right over this. Right over this crate. Did I miss anything else? Cool. Let's go ahead and take this off the map. Is there a way we can delete these waypoints? Is it this one? Ah, oh, there we go. Cool. Alright, so that one's done. The other one was way over here and this is another area where uh, we uh, have a bunch of resources so I'm gonna go ahead and collect those while we're down there so yeah, let's go ahead and head that way since this is going to be a day of collecting resources let's go ahead and go and pick up this iron node as well Down he goes. Alright. Now I know there's more down in there. Significantly more, but we're just gonna stick with that. We're gonna go ahead and move on over to where the crate was and we can get about our day. Because another thing that I want to do today is going to be working on our Horde Knight base. And right up here. There we go. Another Shamway Foods. Sensing a pattern here. Sure, why not? Alright, let's go and collect these resources. So I would like to go ahead and start working on our horde base today as well, so... Uh, oop! Really? Come here, buddy. No, no, no. Right here. <laughs> Stand your 
crap, yeah, so. So, before I was rudely interrupted, I, no, hit that. There we go. Okay, so I would like to start working on the horde base tonight. Uh, so this, this is probably going to be a little bit of a boring episode, collecting resources and uh, building things, but if we get it done early enough, I will go back out and uh, probably do some missions. Uh, go ahead and uh, loot some POIs, that kind of thing. But for now, I would like to go ahead and get the horde base done. That way I know for a fact we will have enough time before the horde comes to us on day seven. Alright, I don't see anything else that we missed this time around. Alright. Let's go ahead and get on over to the last area that I skipped over for the crates. And, uh... We'll go ahead and head home, drop off our stuff in the chests, and then we'll go ahead and start working on the horde base. Ding ding! <laughs> God, I can't believe I missed that. Uh. Live and learn, right? Sure, we can sell those. Guess how much do those go for? Ah, not bad, 150. Very nice. Okay. Oop. Oh, wait a minute. Is this another one of the houses that has a bunch of cobblestone? I think it is. You know what? We're going to go ahead and go check. If it is, then we're going to go ahead and stay here for a little bit longer and collect up that cobblestone. Yeah, I'm almost positive it is. Yeah, it's perfect. All right. Okay, and we're back off. all this put away and then we'll go ahead and go start working on the horde base all right so I guess the first uh, question is going to be where the hell are we gonna put it and to be honest I'm thinking about just putting it right over here yeah because I don't want it to be attached to here because I don't want to give the zombies any reason to try to path toward me in a different way than what I want them to do so yeah let's go ahead and just clear this area out a little bit think about it I don't know if I have any points that allow me to cook food just yet all right get that food get that food okay let's go and chuck some yucca juice down and some golden round tea. That way we can go ahead and get that filled back up. Go ahead and take this can of peas. There we go. Now, now I know we have some skill points, so if we don't, if we can't cook anything, then we'll just go ahead and 
throw that in there. Yeah, we can only do charred meat. Boiled water, yucca juice. Yeah. Okay. Grilled meat. Yeah, we need to go and throw a point into Master Chef, which is right here. Okay. Grilled meat. Let's do it. All right. Three minutes and six minutes worth of fuel. Okay, cool. All right, now let's go ahead and go work on the horde base while that cooks up. Oh, was that right in the eye? Oh, man. That was not a bad shot. Oop. Back up. Can I have that back? Thank you. Okay, let's uh, go extend this out. This needs to be... Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and close. Let's do it right here. say it's these that I use. So these are these. Maybe it's the point zero five. Let's find out. Uh, advanced rotation. Here we go. So this makes it to where whenever they're jumping, I can actually just sit here with a melee weapon and just beat the living hell out of their kneecaps. And uh, yeah, uh, eventually I want to be able to put in uh, traps along the way. Hopefully bladed traps, that would be nice. But uh, yeah, so far that is the premise of this design. going from frames all the way up to cobblestone and then further mainly in the beginning because I need the experience I want to get the uh, my experience level up and possibly even the game level 
it up as fast as I can. I would like to have a little bit more of a, a challenge. And I know I could always just increase the difficulty setting, but at the same time, I, I don't want to put too much on myself in the beginning, right? And I, I'm still, still fairly new to doing this, so... I'd still like to not die within the first couple of weeks. But we'll see, you know. Who knows, maybe in the next couple of episodes I'll say screw it and increase the difficulty from Nomad up to Warrior or something like that. Now I have used this design in a solo world that I had before this, and wood was perfectly fine. I think I upgraded some of the pillars, like maybe up to too high, uh, all the way around, uh, up to cobblestone, but the wood was actually perfectly fine for the first Horde night. So to be honest with what we currently have, it is, more than likely perfectly fine to survive. Just throw a hatch into that doorway that's up here, and that's pretty much it. And like I said, they're going to come through, they're going to have to jump over these uh, blocks that I put in the way every single time, and I'll be able to whack at their knees and make them fall down. They'll get upset, hit the pillars for a few seconds, and then they'll run back up here and do it all over again. And I'm out of wood again. Crap. Oh, let's go over there. So I'm thinking since we didn't do any uh, raiding today in the POIs or anything like that, first thing in the morning, we're probably going to head over to this hotel and go ahead and uh, run through it before the trader opens. Then when the trader opens, we'll go ahead and start cranking out some missions, get some loot, that sort of thing, because now that our horde base is pretty much done for the first horde night, we have three days to dick around, so why not? And who knows? Maybe even this house. Ooh, this is the POI that I wanted to come check out anyway, so heck yeah. First thing in the morning, we'll go over here to the hotel, then we'll maybe come across the street and do this POI as well, and then we'll head over to the traders and start cranking out some missions. That sounds kind of fun. I'm pushing my hunger to the limits here. Let's, uh, let's head back. Run inside, grab some food. And that's roughly 60 points worth of food going in all at once. Let's go and see where that puts us. All right, let's finish this up. Hey, we got, oh my God, we do have more skill points to use. <laughs> I haven't been using them, Jesus. upgraded to wood. Perfect. All right. Let's go and jump down here. At least get the pillars upgraded to cobblestone. And then here in a minute we'll put in a ladder that will allow us to jump up from the back in case we ever fall off or bail out. Whatever.
Alright, we are out of wood. Let's go and start using up the rest of our cobblestone. y'all i'm gonna go ahead and call the episode here i know we did not do a whole lot besides uh collecting those crates and gathering resources but uh i just needed to be done needed to have a little bit of resource management taken care of had to get our horde base up and going but uh these little things need to be done i guess next episode should be a little bit more fun filled like i said i'm gonna head over to the hotel first thing in the morning uh, after that, we'll head across the street to that interesting POI that I saw in, like, episode one or two, I think. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all have a great night, okay? See ya.